Graham Potter has turned Chelsea into Brighton with virtually identical records. Welcome back to Chelsea Online. Subscribe if you're new here. Graham Potter has endured a tough start to life as Chelsea boss. Now the stats show he is almost exactly replicating his campaign at Brighton from last season. Chelsea currently sits 10th in the Premier League after 23 matches this season. They have won 8, drawn 7 and lost 8, scoring 23 and conceding 23. By comparison, after 23 games of Brighton's 2021-2022 season, the Seagulls had 7 wins, 12 draws and 4 defeats. They had found the net 25 times but shipped 23 goals to give them 33 points, enough to sit 9th. Tuchel oversaw the first six games of Chelsea's 2022-2023 season with three wins, a draw and two defeats, giving the Blues 10 points and sitting sixth. The Blues board, led by Todd Boyley, are determined to sit with the man they brought in to succeed Tuchel. They understand he needs time, as demonstrated with Brighton, and are willing to give him that despite his record-breaking start to life in the dugout in West London, especially after the wave of new recruits that have only recently joined the club. However, recent defeats to Southampton, Borussia Dortmund and Fulham on top of stalemates with the Cottagers and West Ham have only worsened the mood among supporters quickly losing patience. There are various reasons why the West Londoners are willing to give the under fire 47 years old tactician more time. The ex Brighton boss has had a number of key players on the injured list ever since taking on from Thomas Tuchel in September. The board appreciates that Porter has been missing a number of his stars this season and still puts medical team's advice over his own best interests. Porter has been criticized for lacking grit in the dugout or post-match interviews and being swallowed up by the job. But in reality, Boyle and Ibali have noticed the manager becoming upset and having tough conversations with players in the dressing room or during individual meetings. And the board appreciates the fact their head coach doesn't point fingers at others during public interviews after a poor result like some of his predecessors. The powers that be also recognize Porter's bravery as he took a big gamble leaving a stable environment at Brighton to risk his reputation as a stormy camp left behind by Tuchel. Plus, Boyle and Ibali knew their bid to rebuild Chelsea after last summer's takeover from Roman Abramovich wouldn't be without challenges. The powerful duo predicted it would take at least a year as well as three transfer windows and were prepared for a scenario filled with ups and downs. The board is confident Porter can still turn the side if he gets more time as the January signings are more in line with his philosophy. They are thought to be following the example of Manchester City where manager Pep Guardiola and director of football Siki Bejiristein needed a year to turn their club into champions after Trophy Lace debut season. Thank you for watching Chelsea Online. Do not forget to subscribe to keep updated.